ka na tong tanan and welcome to our episode Partners in Law. Again, ang uh, kaning atong binuwan nga programa, gihatag ka na to sa Cebu Lady Lawyers Association ug sa Philippine Earth Justice Center. So ako ang inyong host karong gabi una, Attorney Joy Argalion, ang Legal and Policy Officer sa Philippine Earth Justice Center. So for one hour no mga televiewers na to, mahisgot na pud og mga importante nga issues kabahin sa atong kinayahan sa atong environment and unsay mga bagong updates mga unsay mga bagong um, progress or development sa atong balaod and dili lang tato ili limit sa balaod no but also about technology and other um, developments nga pwede makatabang no sa pag pagpaligon pa sa atong balaod para makatabang sa kinadakan nga katawhan no so um nindot ang atong episode karong gabi na mga higala because um kuyog nato no natay mga very um, interesting nga mga guests karong ng gabi una because mga batan o ni sila, mga estudyante dere sa atong mga university sa Sugbo na to, no? And um, nindot kayo yung atong makatunan from them because sila, uh, mga Although estudyante pa lang sila but ang ilahang ang ilahang ideas kabahin sa pagtabang or pag-integrate sa technology para sa pagprotektar sa atong environment nindot kaayo nga parte himuong parte sa atong advocacy no so um, again um, ang atong guests karong gabi una no mga estudyante so ako lang ihatag sa ilaha ang opportunity to introduce themselves no so I'll introduce our guests, no? Kuyog na to karon si Ted and si Nat. So, sayo na, si Ted. Okay. okay. So, hi guys, I'm Ted or Edwin, and you, uh, you can call me Ted. That's my nickname. And I'm 21 years old, a uh, student in the University of San Carlos studying information technology. So, it's one of my passions to I know, make websites and systems and applications, especially those that solve a problem, such as business problems and environmental problems. So I'm very happy to be here. Thank you for having me. Sige, salamat kayo, Ted. And um, thank you for gracing our invitation. No? Because important thing ang makahibaw sa datong mga televiewers. I know nga, grabe na kayo ang technology all over social media and sa internet. No? Asan, isan asan na makita. And daghan kayo itong mga pangutana nga. Atong, atong ipangutana sa ilahan. No? So, Nat? So, hi. Um, my name is Nathaniel. And um, you can call me Nat. And I'm currently studying in um, University of Cebu Main Campus. And same as Ted, um, I'm also an information technology student and um, the reason why I'm taking this course is because um, I really love solving problems and at the same time I want to co uh, contribute something to this world. <laughs> so yeah. So nindot no atong kuyog karon kay both problem solvers. So importante kayo sila sa atong society because we know nga daghan kay tawo mga problems and we need dili lang ta magsige magreklamo about these problems. No? Same with what we do here sa atong programa nga Partners in Law. Dili ra ta sige hisgot about unsay problems, unsay nahita po sa itong nasod, but also, kung unsay gihatag or unsay naa sa itong balaod to solve these problems. And also, not just about the law, no, even outside the law, like mga campaigns, advocacies, and programs. And unsay na diha sa atong gibuhat sa Philippine Earth Justice Center, no, we are currently having a program where we are um, inviting um, a collaboration of different fields and sectors sa atong environment, uh, not sa field and sector sa atong society, no? So, just recently, we invited, um, we conducted the Earth Justice Hackathon. So, kani silang duha, appeal ni sila sa mga teams nga um, ni participate sa atong Earth Justice Hackathon. And the, the concept behind that Earth Justice Hackathon is really to bring together um, IT um, students, mga professionals, para mag-share ang mga ideas together uh, para sa um, environmental sustainability. Um, last January, uh, we also had like uh, we defend no environmental defenders nga mga scientists no on science so we invited different um, different um, scientists members of the academy to share also their studies and researches that will help the environment so karon atong atong storyaon ng atong mga IT students no uh, brilliant kay lang ideas later uh, ato nang pangutaron kung unsa na ilang mga nabuhat during the earth justice hackathon but 
ped and not no um what is hackathon di ay in general no for the benefit also of our televiewers unsa man day nang hackathon so may ganahan mo na to bag okay okay so um, hackathon is actually a collaborative um, event in which um people meet and gather to um um, like I said, um, in a collaborative programming and in order to produce something that is very useful, which is a solution. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. I yeah. think to add. So, that. basically in a hackathon, groups of people get together, usually of different fields. Mm -hmm. So, they get together to uh, brainstorm, create ideas, and create a design projects that uh, aim to solve a specific problem. Mm -hmm. So, that's... What so happened? during the Earth Justice Hackathon, you were given like I think twelve hours, fourteen hours to develop something. No, yeah. how how did you find that activity, man? I mean, let's not talk first now about your specific on say mga projects and apps and in yung na design during that hour. But how how was the exercise, man, for you? Well, um, it was really fun and at the same time challenging. Mm -hmm. Okay, um. Um, as a student, uh, we really hate uh, time limits, <laughs> especially in exam, no? So, um, we take it as, as like an exam that we need to submit something at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So, um, listen to kasi um, kay um, tungaon pa ni mo ang oras sa mga buwan, activities sa imong buwan sa imong group in order to produce something later Do on. Do you remember the challenges that were given to you? Yeah, so I think we had two challenges. The first one was about... Um, reclamation threat. Yeah, reclamation threats and the second one is about uh, sustainable economy, I believe. And how did you integrate man those two challenges into into whatever project that you were thinking? Because ako personally no siguro because I'm I'm, I'm, I'm an outsider. I'm, I don't have the IT background, so it was really very challenging for me. I was just going around, and I think I was just asking you and giving you some input, no, regarding what's happening on the ground. Pero kamo, how did you? Kamo, you're you're very familiar with the IT side, no? But on the environment and kana sustainability aspect, how did you parang integrate it to your projects, man? Said. So. I didn't really have that much background in environmental things, so uh, we we did research on it and we tried to see what was the best thing we could do technologically to you know help the environment. Okay. Um, with your help on that time, Miss, um, nakatapang gitsa sa kanang among input sa unsa unsa among your brainstorm para ani na event. Kay um before ana wal mong give me nakapangandam sa part na sustainable economy. Kay we knew really. Uh, we knew a little about it, and also, kanang um, tungod na um, we focus on the reclamation threat, and at the same time, um, among the butang ang part na kwan masya kanang uh, feasible ba siya? Mm -hmm. I mean, feasible. Then kanang among sa gi kwan gi banabana if kaya ba nina mo? Okay, nagpropose mo mga landline solutions kami mga um, kagrupo, and at the same time, kay amura rin ang gibotan kung asay mas nindot o asay mas dali implement and at the same time, kanang asay mas dali i-reach sa mga tao. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so, I think that's also one thing no, na marag that I'm getting out of this no because um coming coming from the legal perspective that's also the challenge no like how do you bring the law closer to the people well, that's that's the that's a tagline that we always say to when we go to communities like unsaon man mo pagpasabot sa mga tao because um to share lang po no people will um respect the law or follow the law if they fully understand it kay sabot sila asa dapat nga parte sa balaod ang nagprotektar nila asa dapat dili nila sana dapat dili sila mo suway dili sila mo di sila mo labag sa balaod na to technically so during the during the exercise no um there were also mga lectures um, conducted i mean short um kumbaga mga pocket discussions kumbaga about um, threats happening in Cebu because the purpose also of the Earth Justice Hackathon is, you know, Earth Justice, diba? Um, to bring uh, justice to certain environmental law, viola uh, environmental law violations and also to communities affected by um, um, environmental issues. No? So, balik ta sa Earth Justice nga aspect, you, I was just gonna ask if you had any mga prior environmental 
um, involvements in other organizations or maybe in high school or yeah, kamo na ba moy murag prior to joining um, the hackathon, did you have any idea about or were you activists, environmental activists or advocates? I think the closest thing I've done to environmental contribution is uh, tree planting. Mm -hmm. So back in our high school, I think it was. So we had uh, we had a program in our school where we did we went outside and did tree planting, planting mangroves. So it was a great experience. Uh, I could really feel that I was making some sort of change in the environment. So it felt good. Mm -hmm. How about you, Nat? Well, um, it's also the same for Ted. Um, I was able to participate in um, tree planting, and also in our barangay, uh, there was a program before. It's called a uh, clean green and um, clean green and health, mm -hmm. <laughs> something. And there's a uh, um, mostly na sa program like tree planting, yeah, mga seminars. So um, most of the own up sa own up elementary or junior high school. <laughs> okay, it's it's very interesting. And now, no, I um, Karun with the Earth Justice Hackathon. Um, would you say nga ka nang nanamoy gamay nga idea about what's happening? Pero you, you guys are like social media, you're savvy or you're <laughs> always on the internet. But ka nang have you heard about all of these issues before the Earth Justice Hackathon? Kwan, um, probably not that much because I don't really watch news, I'll be honest. Okay. I don't read news, uh, but I do browse the social media and I do sometimes see articles about you know the problems in our environment but generally I don't I'll be honest I don't really take that much notice of it because it's really as one of the groups said in our hackathon event it's really hard to put our attention span into all those long articles without mm -hmm. so one of the groups had a, an idea about shortening the articles into videos so I think if it was that if that was the case then I would have <laughs> I would have read it more well, um, I actually noticed those news and those um, articles um, circling around online before because um, I'm also, um, aside from being an IT um, student, I'm also a journalist in our school. So we uh, provide uh, news to our studentry and to our, to our school. And um, I also, uh, before um, there was an issue time when, um, you remember the issue, Miss Nakatong Nai? five years na I before I was uh, um, it was really circulating online diba? so I was also I I did my part I also made a photo manipulation about um with a caption let the earth breathe so um, I think um, it made me um, also a uh, like, advocate. Advocate. <laughs> mm, okay. Now, uh, we news article man to, na, like we only have remaining five years. <laughs> so because of the climate emergency that we're in, no, kay, um, if we don't act lo, or really don't make drastic changes in our lifestyle or even governments, no, in the way their policies shape the environment, morag nagunta sa brink of like climate emergency nga kung mo init ug samot no um, just to for our, for our televiewers lang no the climate emergency that we're at um natay murag deadline nga murag 5 years no para to make really changes into policies kay dili ta perde nga always coal dependent fossil fuel dependent because mo na siya ang pinaka dako nga contributor sa ato ang sa pag-init sa atong kalibutan and um based no sa mga IP CC reports, kanang intergovernmental panel for climate change, mga grupo na sila sa scientists and policy makers, nga dapat dilita mula pa sa 1.5 degrees ang kainiton sa atong um, kalibutan. Because if mula pa sa ana, no, um, well, mamelt ang mga snow na to dito sa Arctic and Antarctic, um, sea level rise, and many other um, Kahibaw mag sa mga effects, no? Um, kita diri sa Cebu or Leyte, other parts sa Nasud na to. Nakasinati ta sa effects sa Odette, um, sa Yolanda in 2013. So, dili na na to ma-predict kung unsa ang mahitabo sa ato ang society. So, really, uh, importante po, no, for our televiewers nga, ang atong buhaton sa environmental protection is really something na dili lang na to ipasalig sa gobyerno or sa, line, or sa ubang tao. But kita mismo mabuhat something para maka tabang ta sa atong environment. But going back, circle circle back lang ko na before ko magsige og story about climate change. Um, um to 
one of the one of the emerging issues no and even sa imong t-shirt karon no <laughs> there's ai no um imp- dako kay na siya na issue karon because i think um ako i'm a law professor um, i teach law um and then nahimo na siyang discussions among mga professors ko ba na mga professors na um you know students might just be like googling or like inputting the questions and then you know there's an ai a certain ai nga muhatag sa answers and um, there was even like um, a study or mga test that they were um, feeding bar exam questions no and like nay mga accuracies report nga nahatag no sa answers so unsa man what's ai and are, should we be uh, what should we do how should we deal with ai especially now no nga mga, everyone is online like how do we deal with AI, man? Okay. okay. So AI, which stands for artificial intelligence, so uh, it's basically machine learning. So these systems uh, learn from lots of data that they're feed into, and then uh, they're able to think like humans mm-hmm. and act like humans. So they can they can co- talk conversationally and answer questions like that. So anything to add about that? Well, um, Miss, um, even before, um, um, for example, when the internet started, people are really talking bad about it because um, actually when something new is coming to the industry, uh, people would really criticize it because, um, said, uh, like I said, it's still new, so it still has um, faults, uh, it still has some, um, um, it's not perfect. So, um, para na po, Miss, um, di na tamang balaka if um, naana ang AI, kay I think, um, People are also smart to make something na kanang counter sa AI na kanang dili siya ma utilize in a bad way sa mga tao. For example, ang mga exams, siguro if kanang kanyan sa kanang mga um, mga botantala mga answers or kanang mga opinion uh, mga mga opinion essays, essays or, yeah. uh, people are um, some programmers are even making kwan na kanang um, programs na kanang maka-detect of it kanang kwan na gig di um, generated siya sa AI. So nga, so I think um, um um, di pa siya perfect karon ng AI so uh, but I think soon kanang ma ma panag na to ma adapt na kay um I remember in a uh, seminar sa sa company IT company na should we be afraid of AI so let um the, um the manager said that we we should not be afraid since um AIs will actually help us so uh, mm-hmm. instead uh, uh we as a programmer we need to um adapt to the changes in the in the world so dapat kanang ato ni utilize sa atong kwan for um efficiency and productivity so ato siya gamiton in a way na kanang makatabang siya nato so um nara gid siya ikot na um eh ako ka maron gid niya it will be better and better at time to buy okay sige we'll continue our discussion on ai no because i think kamo murag you had very inter- interesting thoughts <laughs> during the hackathon about ai you guys Tame AI. <laughs> you said you um, AI is something that you can tame, no, as programmers. So when um, we'll be back, no, so partners in law, we'll just take a few minutes break to um, thank our sponsors. So partners in law will be right back. atong programa nga partners in law um, again ako ang inyong host no si attorney Joy Argalion ang legal and policy officer sa Philippine Earth Justice Center uh, kuyo gihapon nato ato ang duha ka guests um, si Ted and si Nat no both um, students sa IT there is sa atong mga universidad there is sa Subo and um, very interesting ang ilahang dis- uh, amo hang amo ang discussion so mainly sila ang ga discuss but sige ra kung pangutan na because i don't have um, much knowledge good ka ayo no wa kay koy daghan nga background about um ai um technology and all these things happening no sometimes gani kanang i would ask pa may mga pamangkins about all these things mas sila mas kahibaw pa ani no so um we had uh, before we took a break no we were discussing about artificial intelligence or ai um nga unsa may mga effects niya in different sectors no um there will there are industries that are really making use no like um sa ilahang day to day operations na nag ai integrated into their operations but in some in, in some fields like there is um 
common ra siguro ang fear no because marag that's something new nga ma-integrate or kanang na-introduce ana nga field. So going back no, kamo as programmers like how do you how do you manage or how do you adapt man to AI? So yeah, personally I don't see AI as something bad or something uh, a threat to my future job like as people say because I see it as more of like a companion because mm -hmm. AI was built by humans in the first place and they were built not to take over humans but to guide us and help us in our future jobs. So for example, with the rise of AI art, so AI can generate art by, uh, by a prompt. So in, uh, I know that you could generate art uh, on its own but you can't really value it that much compared to a human art, right? You, can't, you won't put up a, a painting of AI art in a wall. So, but what you could do is you could feed it a painting that you created and make it enhance your painting. So that's something that will enhance your work. So it's that kind of concept, right? So it, it enhances your own creation instead of creating something that, that, it, that replaces your creation. Mm -hmm. And the same goes for like what you said about the essays and answering exams. Uh, people could argue that AI makes you la more lazy and doesn't make you study more. But that might be true, but imagine if we all relied, we all uh, used AI for our uh, conversational aspects and speech. So it's like it enhances our conversational skills, right? It gives us the answers, but we can also learn from those answers instead of uh, actually just relying on our own intelligence where it may not be that uh, may not be that good compared to with AI. Mm -hmm. so that's how I see AI. Okay. So I before before I'll ask Nat no, um, that's true no because I think um, fear no coming from a legal perspective, copyright issues are, are there no more. That's a looming threat also to artists, to authors, or to um, anyone siguro, no, uh, who put their work online and then you know i don't i don't really know how ai works but um maybe ai generates something out of it no so naapay mga ongoing mga mga legal discussions on what um on so good ang extent sa benefit nga makuha with ai no and the same goes with artists no i think there was like um i think it was our, just this year no nga there was a, a a boom in katong ai generated art and katong mga even mga photos that you have on on your social media nga pwede generate ni AI o medyo artistic kind of painting nga look no so those kinds of things nga mga discussions kay murag pura pa na siya gray area as we enter into an era where AI is really as Ted said, companion na gud nato. Dili lang siya ingon gud nga dili na siya on the side o dili na siya sa likod, dili na siya na kuyog na gud nato ang AI. Yeah. So Nat, well um Ted is really right kana we should treat AI as a companion because um um as humans we already have our own intelligence but with AI um our intelligence will be uh, widened. So um, we will not, um, dili not familiar, but we've been actually uh, using AI a long time ago na. So um, if, for example, magimok a statement, and we check sa Grammarly. So Grammarly uses an AI to uh, detect um, your writings, diba? And it even can, it can help your grammar, make it better, that, so that it looks so professional. Also, and not just in um, writings, uh, we also have like uh, Photoshops. So um, Photoshops, uh, they actually rely on AI, like um, content awareness, diba? So we have images or we can um, edit some, for example, uh, we, we, we try to filter our face. So um, it actually uses AI to determine um, the content awareness of the image. So actually, AI is very beneficial to us. Mm -hmm. So that's why um, we should not be afraid and just see what, how it happens. Uh, we just... Um, para na ako karon kay palang kita ka ng padayon na tahan niya ka ng kamit na in a right way ganon na mo pa improve na tatong knowledge and as a programmer kay um gamit ang AI mis case um um especially when we're working um as a computer programmer di ba kanang we have deadlines magit then um there are times na kanang damo kita programmer block na magyang artist block di ba so we often forgot na um lisugun sa pagsaw kaniya but Dili ra mong good ato ang kubaling na tong ginawa na anan. Ang tay deadlines na tay kanang ang company na say deadlines ay client. So, ang AI mismo tabang siya debug sa atong kwan. Debug is like kanang, um, debug is like solving uh, 
uh, loophole in the code. So, na may times na kanang um, na-block ang mga programmer. So, that's why um, I've actually, um, I myself use Quantit uh, AI to help kanang fasten the pang ganit kanang debug, debug, um, debug part of the development para kanang matali, makabugo sa lain na good na development. So, yan. Tako siya daw. So in, interesting takes no regarding AI and, and I think kan we can all agree nga kita murag karon lang gyud siya ni emerge as murag siguro stand alone AI no nga especially si kato mag yung kato mag yung chat GPT mang yun ang yes. naka create gyud sa murag nagkagubot gyud ang mga tao especially yung mga teachers dun sa una malaman ni ato ang mga student nga mo chat na lang sila diha they can easily get answers so um tinuod nga AI is um, something that we can develop or we can enhance more to help society so kailangan lang gyud ni eh, ang atong mga programmers sila na gyud ang bahala na to, to really um tame AI no or <laughs> kanang integrate AI into our day to day life. So, na naman dito sa discussion sa AI. Okay. Musud na ta kung unsa may mga specific projects that you did no during the Earth Justice Hackathon because for televiewers no, grabe kanindot ang ilang mga nahimo nga mga projects after the 12 to 14 hours nga sige ra na mo sila og um gi storya gipakaon, <laughs> gi gipainom og daghan na kape. But but really, um, ang ilang mga ideas about environmental sustainability and also addressing certain threats sa atong environment katong naisgutan nila ganina we gave them certain challenges no how would your um, app or can, the idea that you're developing help address reclamation or um, the threats of um, other environmental violations such as illegal far illegal logging or deforestation, forest fires, um, sustainable um, sustainability aspect in terms of mga shops, how the way we purchase because one of the pinaka dako nga kontra nato no in this era is really consumerism grabe ta atong pagkonsumo sa mga butang around us we have Shopee Lazada online shopping nato no and ang atong plastic um, plastic consumption also ana appeal na siya sa ato ang um, lifestyle movement so um, okay mosugod ta ni Ted no sa it, walk us through the idea that you had so introduce sa atong mga televiewers no um sa tong idea nga na develop ninyo so the challenge we chose to take and solve is the sustainable economy so we wanted to as you said a lot of people uh, consumerism is a very big aspect in our in our lives right and we want we wanted to change the lifestyle of people because currently a lot of us don't know or we're not aware about uh, the the, sh the shops we shop in and the, the products we buy. So we don't know what they're actually made of. And most of them are made of materials that are not environmentally friendly. So we wanted to find a way to um, bring awareness to people about these shops and products and promote those local shops and products that are environmentally friendly. And notice how I said local, because we wanted to localize this app as much as possible mm -hmm. to the Cebu uh, people, because the more we localize the application, uh, the more we can focus on specific smaller shops and products and bring them out to the people. So our application is called Next Life, stands for the next lifestyle. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, in the application, we promote those local shops and products that are environmentally friendly, and we also have AI integrated into it that would suggest and recommend alternatives to the shops and products that they buy. So uh, with this, they can discover those, and then they can also avail of coupons that would encourage them to, to change, switch their lifestyle into a more sustainable one. Um, and yeah. The way we actually just thought of this idea is by putting a lot of ideas in the table, mixing them together, and then uh, picking out the best ones. So that's how we basically formulated the, the idea that we had. Mm -hmm. Okay, how, was it was it a difficult? Uh, you you guys were four in the group, no? Yeah. How how difficult was it to manage? Siguro like the different ideas. Which one emerged as the ultimate um, idea that you eventually? Um, pulled off. So before the actual hackathon event, we already had a general idea in mind mm -hmm. since we did some prior research and the first idea we had was uh, an application that 
basically help PAJC in a way. So in the app, they could, the users could schedule for consultations with PAJC, and then they could also uh, create and explore events such as cleanup drives, tree planting, that sort of thing. So we had that general idea, but then we wanted to make it more specific and solve a uh, more specific problem, and that was the environment, the sustainable economy. So yeah, um, our team is pretty much, we've been together for three years in our okay. team, so we had that kind of synchronization already in our team. It wasn't that hard to put ideas together, and yeah, uh, we have one designer, two front-end developers, and one back-end, so it just kind of worked out in the end. <laughs> Okay, no. Um, mga bata pa kayo ni sila, no? Uh, very interesting ideas about sustainable economy, no? Kay importante jun na karon because even ako, no? Um, I I know of a few um, stores, no? Few lang po jud ang stores that we have here in Cebu. Um, siguro um, na mga shops that really offer kanang eco-friendly products good alternatives to kanang mga plastic bags, mga plastic labo and everything and also mga shops that kanang shift na good like um, not ilang refill refill economy na no na nata sa refill um, refill phase na to nga ang dili na ta palit og mga single use na mga packaging sa pla, uh, sa shampoos sa mga sabon but instead we go to the shops bring our own containers and then refill na lang dito it's basically the same concept no what we had before the age of plastic diba? like when we go to our sari sari stores we always go to um sari sari stores bringing bottles i don't know if same pa ba tag era nakasabot pa ba mo ana nga age <laughs> but anyway that's that's basically the concept of these stores no and it's very important um, it's integrated into the next lifestyle, nato, the future of the, the future lifestyle that we should be taking no, in order to um, really shift into the sustainable uh, circular economy. Okay, so any put sa lahi po pud nga um, lahi pud nga project no with um, team ni Nat, sige Nat. So um, just like that said, um, we were actually um, we were actually um. um Gingan namin na nai upcoming PAGC contest na hackathon. So um, just like what they did, they searched me, and um, my friends are uh, really came up with a um, um, image detection uh, automatic uh, segregator in trash bins. So uh, I think it falls down in ah uh, it it uh, under nasa sa sustainable economy. Mm -hmm. So um ang amo gip unang kwan kay nag train jumis sa AI na automatic siya mo detect o kwan masura. So like um so basically, ang una no project is kanang different uh, trash bins nga nai different segregations. So um yeah, gibut nga na siya camera nga auto detect sa kamot sa usa ka um, person kung iya detect kung unsa na kind of um, kind of garbage and at the same time kanang after sa yung detect ang if ma detect niya unsa na siya na garbage kato na trash bin ra mo abrik. Mm -hmm. So like it will help na sa mga tao na kanang mapadali ilang paglabay. Okay, kanang ego na lang nilipas ka niya, dito na lang butang. So, um, at that time, we were actually training the AI na. So, mugana na siya. But, um, pagkabot sa contest, it was really different. Um, it was it was still one of our um, options na himuon. Because um, in the contest, um, na mag-good siya ikuan, doon mag challenge di ba? So, na siya ikuan, uh, reclamation threat of sustainable economy. So, um, my other friend also uh, proposes about illegal logging sound sensing system. And um, that's where we realized that we need to focus on this one. And we need uh, we just need to add something. So, um, there were actually uh, small clips um, every uh, break in the contest. And we, we, also, we were also uh, notified that the world is actually the global temperature is actually increasing so we want to contribute with that too and at the same time uh, we want to contribute to the government so that's why we plan to target the Department of Environment and Natural Resources uh, specifically uh, NRO which is uh, Environment and Natural Resources Officers since they are the one who are, man uh, who are mandated by the government to enforce law policies and regulations in forest protection um, um, coastal management resources small-scale mining and environmental protection and uh, we want to make something for them so that um, they can uh, easily uh, respond fast to these illegal um, environmental activities because um, even though we have social media um, be, uh, social media can be a very large place mm -hmm. 
mm -hmm. uh, which uh, which, would, which would take time for them to notice the the, the things that are posted by the netizens diba because um makita um diba if makita tag mga posts actually kay after naman after span of time kitong di viral siya so there's a time gap na maabot pa nimo diba yes so we want to bridge that gap namo na gimo mix system para nila sa mga enro officers na mga notified sila in case there are um uh, illegal um, activities mm -hmm. na uh, around them where they are designated. So um, we um, we actually use ang AI dira kay NAMI device na implements the forest which is um, away ang mga tao. So we plan to make an AI that can detect illegal logging um, sounds and at the same time forest fire using um, temperature sensors. Okay. And also uh, we want uh, uh, we just do, uh, we don't want to limit our um, idea to just the device that we're using. So we want the netizens cooperation. That's why we built a ses uh, we, we built a web system wherein they can participate by submitting a file report. So um, with that case too, kay Amos and Gi lock ang submission na dili pwede maka upload ng image kay images are t uh, images tend to be manipulo uh, manipulate. Mm -hmm. Kay I myself I'm okay so a graphics artist so maka manipulate to one so pwede siya baka cause o kanang prank sa mga government which is muna sila so muna siya kanang okay so very interesting kaayo ang ang ang, ang project nila group nila nat no because it was about um sound sensing no and kanang temperature sensing but um we'll take a few minutes break lang yun, no before na to balikan si Nat sa ilahang project and si Ted also sa ilahang project mangot daghan kay tang pangutan na kinsa man ang kinsa may maka benefit ani kinsa man ang target audience kinsa may murag kumbaga in a research kinsa may mga kinsa may maka benefit kinsa may end users ani nga mga apps no so um partners in law will be right back after a few minutes back sa atong programa nga Partners in Law. So, ganina, no, nangutana na ni Ted o ni Nat about their specific projects no, um, on sustainable economy and also on kind of addressing threats of environmental law violations. So, Nat was um, saying earlier about the AI nga morag ilang train to detect um, sounds, to detect heat, no? Diba? Temperature sensing. So, kani, you mentioned earlier nga your target audience is or target institution, no? Nga makabenefit ani would be the DNR um, in terms of their patrolling. Um, anyone else that, um, pwede ba ni siya magamit sa ordinary citizens? Like you mentioned earlier, marag, I think marag netizens on social media but how do you, parang unsa mana, how do you manage, no, the the information gathering and uh, no part well um sa enro officer nam sila admin so pwede nila um na dito masegregate ang mga file reports from the device that we made and also from the netizens in that way um ma as ma assess nila if gikan ba ni sa katong device or gikan sa mga tao so amo siyang gipapil gyud ang mga netizens kay bisag asa namo gyud ang mga tao so um gamit masagi na mga eyes sa mga tao if ever na sila ma discover na illegal actions mm -hmm. so and also sad ang mga tao magud if um if maka discover sila may ani kanang wala sa gibo assess lang musumbong um, usually nila mo post ra nya viral we should take time diba and yeah. so that's why um, we plan to um, make a system a mobile app and also a web app that we're in the and just um, upload the complaint with together with their evidence. So one of them is um now magimo misha good na may web or mobile app para sa participation sa mga netizens mis niya isegregate or siya sa kwan and officers dito. Okay, how about you, Ted? So uh, the two main users or should I say parties that are that we're targeting in our application. First of all is the citizens of Cebu since we're localizing this application. So that's where they can discover and uh, learn these uh, eco-friendly shops and products. And on the other hand, we're also targeting those big brands and shops. So uh, if more and more people switch to these local environment-friendly products and shops, so this would sort of also encourage those big brands to also switch to a more envir environment-friendly uh, materials in their products. So hopefully, by this way, they can also sort of like switch their their um, standards and their lifestyle into a more sustainable one. 
Okay. Um, to koan lang po, no, to add lang po, and first also for the benefit of our televiewers, um, we actually have mga laws, you know, nga, that would really incentivize um, companies or mga small businesses that are going for eco-friendly alternatives. Like for example, um, we have naman tayong mga green building laws, no, nga. For example, buildings, if they switch to a more sustainable, nga mga um, air conditioning or kanang any system nila nga ay appeal nila uh, nga more sustainable na siya um, ang ilahang operations kay more lesser carbon emissions and ana they can actually ask for incentives regarding that and also um, we have a law put here no an ordinance here in Cebu um, banning the use of styrofoams in public events so public events like um, sinulog for example or mga unsaba na mga food parks that we have um, if they switch to a more sustainable um, uh, packaging alternative no dili styrofoam they can ask for incentives no uh, sa ilahang mga payments or taxes and ana so hopefully can, can those kinds of things that we can mainstream no because it's really important that it's not just the end users also switching our lifestyle but also um producers also no mga big companies and um, to add to that we have the extended producer responsibility law that was passed in July of 2022 and its IRR was just released um, I think this year um, the extended producer responsibility is kanto basically not just putting all the shift to the consumers no nga kita ang mulikay sa single use plastics but also for producers like big companies nga nagproduce og mga plastic packaging they have to recover kanang mga plastics that they have um, produced no um, depende sa ilahang you know of, depende sa unsa sila kadagko nga mga company so one of our mga kanang mga bottles plastic bottles ato mga PET bottles nato no dapat na sila i-recover sa mga companies nga nagmanufacture nila para less na pod ang ilahang um, ang il- ang atong makita nga plastic all around us no so those are some of the parang new laws that we have no in terms of um, environmental sustainability and mobile ko sa ako ang mga um, questions ninyo ganina no um, how do you think ka uh, Kaning this imp- uh, um, how do you think will um, your um, ideas no pan out kaha in in the future or kanang sa mga tao how will they receive it you think on sa may tanaw ninyo ana um first of all um i think um we start with the uh, enro so um we're actually giving them a uh, fun like much better uh, response rate okay um people are um, kay bawo na mga tao asa silang sumbong yan ang device kay kung saan makasense so dali silang makarespond and at the same time ka na, um, I think makakontribute siya sa fund global, uh, global temperature so um, mas less mas less na ang mga forest fires kay dali sa um, among gihop is dali siya madetect ang forest fire para dali siya maagapan diba and also ka na mga kung uh, malesen ang mga illegal logging so um, more trees will be protected in that way um, mas ma better ang kung um, ang world na to. <laughs> then also anang sa mga netizens I think uh, mas ma-educate sila na unsa ka important ang kining environmental issues nga naa to karon and also um, we are um mo na mo expect na may ta ilang dawat ni og kanang ilang kan i-engage nila so we also planning na kan siguro mag kan mag mag-campaign para nila sa kan sa online para mas ma-aware sila <laughs> so much okay Ted. so <clears throat> it's going to be hard for us to switch people's lifestyle because obviously it's not a it's not an easy thing to do it's a it's a big step and but the main way we're going to to attempt to do this is to just um uh make awareness campaigns regarding this sort of topic and then um encourage them to use our application and uh, shop more efficiently by doing things like uh, giving out coupons for those local shops so it won't, be, it won't be easy, but then I, f- I think that the more the more we put our effort into it, so the more people also come and try it out. And as for the shops and local uh, products, we also hope to encourage them to promote their their shops into our application. So it's basically more of a collaboration. If we all, if everyone uh, gets together and you know uh, cooperate, so it would make it much faster for us to change the lifestyle. 
very interesting kaayo ilahang mga kwan. No, kanang ka, kami as um, legal practitioners and also campaigners and advocates for the environment. Ganahan kay tag in ani nga mga ideas no because kami alone like magsige mi og discuss ani or magsige mi tudlo bato mi sa communities magsige mi lecture nila about the laws it's not enough no mga kuan we really need something engaging also innovative and res- uh, creative nga mga ideas when we go to communities especially now that um dako na kayo nga market na to ang youth no um kamo um as members i think ako i'm still a member of the youth <laughs> part of the youth age bracket. Get, no? But kamo mainly um, as uh, kamo mangyod um, your college students, you know more about the kind of environment or the kind of um, lifestyle nga gi asa nag revolve ang lives sa mga youth karon. So what is your parang key takeaways and siguro message pun siguro um, and on how we can engage more youth no in these kinds of um, dili lang sa hackathon but um, to really in um, for them to embrace environmental advocacies and um, switch to sustainable lifestyle inana okay, uh, so the key takeaways that I've learned from this uh, whole event is first of all environmental change is not uh, it's not easy we all have to cooperate and participate in it it's an individual effort as well as a group effort so we can't just rely on other people to do it so we can't just say that oh uh, shops are are switching into eco-friendly products so but you have to actually buy their products to to um, contribute mm-hmm. so we all have to put an effort into uh, making a change in our environment as well as uh, hackathons are a great events to you know bring out our ideas and create solutions so i really think it's a great practice to do hackathons and i really want, just want to thank pjc and all the organizers for uh, giving this opportunity to us and to for really you know putting an effort and yeah i hope that this continues in the future and more and more ideas come to fruition because it's re- a really great way to to bring about some solutions because it's really different when you're alone without and and working on a on a project rather than being in a group and being in a competition because you're more pressured to to create something that's that's really effective right so that's my key takeaways okay thanks dad so um, my key takeaways is that um, technology really has become very important when it comes to um, environmental awareness. So um, my um, in just one click, um, makalibora gina mga tao sa mga kalang information nga ilang gusto maganahan. So uh, para na ako lang gid kay ang um, participate lang gid tanan sa na kalang para makatun punta ba na unsa ka importante ang environment para nato. So we need to be aware. At the same time, we can start being um, an or just as defender by just um, starting doing this by ourselves by conserving energy um, um, we go um, we go change our lifestyle so um, we must support um, if may mga upcoming na mga programs or mga bago na kwan, bago na mga trends na kanang eco-friendly we should try them um, we should not be afraid to like kwan ba kanang delete mo try um, at um, before tamo criticize we need to think na give what nila para sa planet so also kanang yeah as I mentioned before um technology really is um important siguro mo bit on a rason nga nay hackathon kay yeah I really do believe na kanang ang tanan tao kay ni believe gyud sa technology and I'm very thankful kay ang PGC ni believe sa kwan sa kwan IT industry computer industry so yeah Kanang, this is a very good opportunity for us to showcase our skill and also to um prove to prove to all of the people na kanang kaya po na mong contribute for the environment. <laughs> Yay! So um thank you kaayo Ted and Nat no for um those really um important takeaways and also message po siguro niyo sa youth. Um one last na lang no you mentioned na uh, you're part now of the environmental defenders. We're very happy that we have we have allies now um in the IT um sector nga helping us develop these kinds of um, technologies um, final message and commitment so yeah um, after uh, partic- participating in this event and being part of the earth justice uh, defenders so it really opened up something in my inside me so it really opened up uh, 
this sort of hidden advocacy that I had. So I didn't know that um, I had this, you know, this will to protect the environment. So I felt that, you know, it's part of me now, and I'm proud to be one of the advocates. And yeah, I'll do my best to, you know, create, uh, continue creating this application, developing it, and as well as coming up with more ideas that would also help the environment. Yay! Thank <laughs> you, Ted. Not. Well, um, participating the last PGC hackathon was really an eye opener for our team because um, as an IT um, student, uh, all we really planned about was really working. <laughs> so we didn't really think about being an advocate. Although we see a lot of posts about advocacies, but they're actually um, like secondhand information that was received to us. It's real. It was really different when you are uh, receiving it um, personally. Like kita juga sa mga tao and historia ana. You can really see their passion and their will na na na. na propose sila ng event. Um, imagine, like, mga lawyers na sila. Like, Kapo, ibig ka na ako sa lawyers at niya. Nakaya nila na magbuat yung anak. Siguro, makaya mo sa siguro sa IT. Bisa mong tarbaho mi. Yung mga advocate mi, di ba? So, mga na, ka lang, um, after ito na event, na-inspired Jimmy magunan na paglaing ideas. Not just katong amo i-implement ka ron. Um, we, we were, we were really, really thinking for the future ahead. So, mga to, um, a message nun siguro kay uh, paningamutan na mo na mahuman ni na mo among development. Although, um, um, it will take time good, but, um, Ang importante kayo mapab- maabot mo dito. <laughs> so, yeah. Hey, thank you kayo to Ted and Nat, no? Also for joining us karong gabi una and for sharing their insights about um, technology and the environment, no? Um, ako siguro my key takeaway after hearing all these brilliant ideas from these kids is that, um, kana, ang tanan na innovations that we have all around us, we can really use to, we can, we have the choice no, to do it for good or for something beneficial sa ating environment. Uh, and we hope na our televiewers are also learning um, from this, from all the all their sharings. No? And ma-encourage, no, nga, sabisan unsa dili man necessary abogada ka, dili necessary nga environmental planner ka, or anything about environment ng yun ang imuhang gilihukan. But even from other sectors, we can all collaborate para ma protektahan atong environment not just for the present but also for the future generations so now ta na jud time no um daghan pa unta kay tang daghang ipangutan na sa ato ang mga guest karon because um in- interesting ang ilahang discussions about um environment technology mga social media things nga atong makita sa atong sa internet but um um to our daily viewers no you can um listen or watch watch mga videos um, um, from partners in law nga mga episodes dili lang sa environment but also about women labor and other sectors no um, you can follow uh, click like and subscribe sa Celia partners in law sa YouTube and you can also message the Philippine Earth Justice Center on Facebook uh, so you can you can search for us on on Facebook and we're also on Twitter and Instagram on at, at PJC underscore official so if you have questions or ideas that you want to collaborate with us, then pwede ma dyan yung ma-message dito. So, nahutan na tag-time. Again, Ted and Nat, daghang kaayong salamat. And uh, we hope to see you guys more in some of the future activities. We have new environmental and earth justice defenders. And kamo, hopefully our televiewers will also join us in this campaign to protect our environment. So, again, ako si Attorney Joy Argalion um, from the Philippine Earth Justice Center. Daghang salamat. Ugmayang gabi.